Hi, so I'm glazing some redware today. This is a big bin of liquid clear glaze that we use here in the pottery studio. And this is an example of a redware piece before it's been glazed. This is one of the bread bowls that we use in the restaurant here. So basically, I'm just gripping it with tongs. Uh, we don't want to leave any areas on the piece that are unglazed, so like, I don't want to dip this in the glaze with my hand and then leave fingerprints behind. So this, tongs, this pair of tongs uh, allows us to grip the piece, leaving minimal points of contact behind. So I just dip it in the glaze. I sort of count up to six in my head. Bring it out of the glaze. And try to prevent the glaze from pooling anywhere on the piece because even though this is a clear glaze, if it does pool anywhere, then it can turn sort of a milky white. So we try to make it as even as possible. The bottom has been waxed with beeswax, which is why there isn't any glaze sticking to the bottom. And I'm just going to sponge off the little bits of glaze droplets that uh, did appear there. And that's pretty much it. I sort of hold it upside down until it's relatively dry. And set it on the square board. Pull the tongs away, and as you can see, there are you know little droplets where the points of the tongs were contacting the piece. But otherwise, you know, it's a pretty uniform covering that you've got there.